there, it's Tony. Before you get started using your drone, it's important to keep these safety tips in mind so that you have the best and safest learning experience. In this video, we'll be discussing the CoDrone EDU, both the standard edition, which has a black frame, and the JROTC edition, which has a white frame. Please note that all of our safety guidelines are shared between both versions of the drone. However, in the case of a potential difference in protocol between the two models, we'll be sure to highlight it. The keys to success are check your environment, check your drone, and check your skills. Remember to keep your co-drone EDU indoors. While it might be tempting to take your drone outside for more space, our drone is not designed to withstand outdoor conditions. Due to how light the drone is, even a light breeze can make it difficult to fly, leading to crashes or losing the drone entirely. Additionally, many areas have strict rules about flying drones outdoors. You may need special permits. For instance, flying in restricted zones like near airports can result in fines. To keep things safe and legal, always fly indoors in a controlled environment where you can practice and enjoy your drone responsibly. Make sure you put away anything that might get caught or tangled in the propellers. For instance, tie up long hair. Put away anything that might be hanging off your clothes. If you have anything fragile around the room, keep them in a cabinet or move them somewhere else. Close any water bottles so they won't spill or dump out any water in cups. We recommend dividing your classroom into a flying area and a coding area. Students should code in one area and then head over to a flying area to test out their code. Flying drones should be a safe and fun experience for everyone. By designating a flying versus coding area, students will be able to program without interruption and feel confident that they will be safe while doing so. To ensure safe flying, always keep the controller and drone within sight. Pointing the antenna at the drone helps maintain the strongest signal. The signal has difficulty passing through people and thick walls. Your controller's connection status screen will display your signal strength. To see this screen, use the S and P buttons to navigate between different screens on your controller. To learn more about the different display screens, check out our controller display screen video. Before takeoff, always inspect your drone to ensure it's in proper flying condition. This is especially important if you are flying a drone that has been used before. Confirm that, one, there is no structural damage to the drone, drone frame, motor arms, motors, or propellers. Two, the bottom sensor's view is not obstructed. Three, propellers and motors are in their correct positions. Now here, to protect your hands as well as the drone's propellers and motors, let's go over how to properly hold the drone. Make sure never to grab the drone from above by the body. Instead, grab it from above by the guards, or you can hold it from below by the body. Now moving to check number four. There's no debris beneath the propellers and the propellers can spin freely. If a motor does appear to be stuck and can't spin, do not continue attempting takeoff. If something is preventing the motor from spinning, this could damage the motor, causing it to overheat. The drone's motors can get quite hot after use. Avoid touching them after flying a drone. If a particular motor gets noticeably hotter than the rest, make sure to inspect it or replace it as it may have an internal issue. You can learn how to replace your motors by checking out our motor replacement video. Check number five. The drone battery has not expanded and has no signs of structural damage. There are a few things to keep in mind about the batteries that come with your CoDrone EDU. Although the battery has a protective shell, be very careful not to puncture, squeeze, or open it. If a battery ever feels really hot, immediately stop using it. Only use the battery charger that comes with the kit. Never use puffy or damaged batteries. To prevent batteries from becoming puffy, avoid storing fully charged batteries for extended periods. If a battery is fully charged and stored for a long period of time, it can result in a puffy battery. Once batteries are fully charged, remove them from their chargers and place them in a bin or container labeled charged. It should be located in a cool, dry place. Know that improper battery handling can be a fire hazard. We recommend for long-term storage beyond a few months, keep the batteries partially charged as opposed to fully charged. Also, when using the CoDrone EDU Standard Edition, never insert the AA batteries incorrectly into the controller. This could damage the controller and this is a fire hazard. 
When using the JROTC edition, be sure to insert your controller batteries following proper orientation as shown here and inside your user manual. Once you have confirmed that your flying area is ready to go and your drone is safe for takeoff, there are several skills that are crucial for keeping everyone safe while flying the CoDrone EDU. Avoid flying at walls or people. The pilot or a spotter should always maintain a visual on the drone. This ensures everyone's safety and protects your drone from damage. Here's another pro tip. You should always have the drone take off from the floor rather than from on top of a desk. When taking off from other surfaces, the drone will treat that surface as the base height, which may cause some instability. The more stable the drone, the safer the flight. One important command to know before taking off is how to land your drone. To use the land command, press and hold the L1 button for three seconds. The land command should be your first response anytime you are ready to end your drone's flight. In some cases, you may need to use emergency stop, which is L1 and down on the left joystick. Whether you're flying the drone or running code, this will be especially useful if you need to stop the drone very suddenly. You should only use the emergency stop as a last resort to stop the drone's motors mid-flight. Since the drone will drop out of the sky, there is potential to cause damage to the drone if done regularly. Avoid using emergency stop when the drone is flying higher than 10 feet to avoid damage and always try to catch your drone from the air whenever possible. Last but certainly not least, let's discuss flying the drone. When you're flying the drone, try to avoid flying too close to the ceiling because the drone could get stuck. If this happens, use the emergency stop command and catch the drone when it falls. Try to avoid letting the drone fall to the ground from the ceiling. And that's it. Just keep these safety tips in mind to make sure that your CoDrone EDU learning experience is fun and safe.